In the last episode, we found coal, and we have been informed we have not saved for 30 minutes. Another very nice touch of the game. Although there is no need to save in the first mission, but I'll, I'll keep that in mind. Obviously, saving a game does help a lot, even though I've not really experienced any crashes of this game in particular. In quite a few years, there has never been a crash in it. Although you can never tell with uh, DOSBox, because uh, back when I played it first, I was actually playing it on Windows XP and it worked there. It worked there just fine. Without DOSBox or anything. I haven't... yeah, I've never played it on Windows 95 on... yeah, no. I, I haven't. The first computer I had was... Well, I, I had access to for gaming was actually my brother's and he had, I think, Windows 95 on it. He got himself a better one, and at that point I got his old one, and, uh... So yeah, I've, I've been experienced with Windows 95, and, uh... I'm not sure if I've ever had an, anyone with the Windows 98. I think he had, a uh, Windows Millennium Edition, or Windows ME. I'm quite sure you can figure out why that happened. Uh, why, why that, uh, abbreviation happened. Um, I think he had that on one of his computers, and then we moved on to, to XP with the next uh, set of computers we got. Uh, those were the days, <laughs> I tell you. Those were the days. Also, there is, a, I think, no way to speed this up, so uh, I'll just have to keep talking, so sorry. I'll probably uh, quit after this, this episode here, just to, for one, because I want to see if uh, things have been recorded properly, and also because uh, I don't have things to do. I kind of have a master thesis to write, and that will do itself. Even though I still have a lot of time, but uh, I know myself, and I know that if I have a lot of time... Oh, by the way, look at that. We now have a donkey here, so this is an upgraded road, and I know if I have a lot of time and uh, a lot to do, I, st I will often decide that later is just as good as the time as now, so uh, why bother doing things now, alright? And uh, it's just not good. Also, I could have built a smelter earlier because we had a bit of coal and a probably also a bit of ore, probably no ore, but a at least a bit of coal in the uh, uh, smelter. In the headquarters, not in the smelter. I think actually more than one coal mine is a good idea to have. Because we need coal for pretty much everything metal related. Except for mining the stuff, but everything else requires coal. In ridiculous amounts, by the way. So, well, it's, it's one for one, but still. We need two coals and one bit of iron for a weapon, for example. Because you have to have it uh, the smelter, and then you have to have it where it requires one coal, and then you have to forge it, which requires another coal. So, uh, yeah, your resource demands will skyrocket. Also, I'm afraid we'll have to build a second fishery here somewhere. Because this simply won't do. This one fisherman won't be able to feed two miners. Let's loan three to four. So we'll probably get this connected to. Well, that was not how I wanted it to connect, but I guess I'll have to. I'll have to roll with it now. I'll have to go with that now. This is almost finished, which is great. The armory will. Still take a while, I suppose. Also, can I get a geologist here again? I would hope that this, or that one of those uh, hut building places here has uh, water too. I'm quite confident it has, but uh, just to make sure. So we can build a well and. Uh, yeah, we'll, we'll have that there. In this section here, we're probably not going to touch anymore. We might build a fishery here. In fact, that seems like a reasonable idea now. Let's do that. We probably want to space them a bit 
away from each other. Because you yeah, you, you kind of want them to not overfish the same area, but they will overfish it at some point anyway. I believe that you will be notified by, uh, of that, by the way. But yeah, you're likely to overfish a place uh, at any uh, rate. So those things are also a finite reason, although it's kind of hard to overfish a place with a fishing pole. At least a place like the ocean is very hard to overfish. Okay, last day of the eighth month after the, uh, after coming ashore. There is an open, fertile plain to the north of our new border post. This will provide lots of new opportunities for expanding our settlement, but we need more soldiers to do this. Go to the northern plain and continue expanding the border. We actually did that already, but we can uh, expand it further. Oh, there we go. Twelfth day of the ninth month. After advancing further north, we have finally found enough space to construct larger buildings and farms. We now intend to search for raw materials in the surrounding mountains, search for new raw materials and secure a supply of food. Explore the entire island. We technically had a space for a big building here as well. Until somebody put smells on top of it, but still we had it. Also, how's my supply on the building materials doing? Not too bad, we still have them. That's what I consider not too bad, mind you. We still have them. Also, it would be nice to see how much is still needed here. We need to see it when, when things are dropped off, but you don't get anything else. Also, yeah, we can now build a farm. And uh, in this case, because we want to make use of this plane, it makes sense to build buildings first and then go around with roads. Okay, how do we do this? I think I want to farm over here. Farms also require to uh, usually leave space around them. Because the building itself is nice and all, but the farm actually needs space around it to... Uh... Good, there's another flag here. Uh, a farm actually needs the space around it to... Uh... We have water here. Come on, it's not that hard. Just thing here. Um, those fields around it will also need to be free in order to actually place the fields of the farm. Which is also why I've built around this uh, uh, grass line here. <sighs> also keep in mind that the farm itself is kind of useless as it is. We will need more than that. I mean, you can't eat. The, you could eat the grain, but you you can't do it in this game. We have to turn it into bread first. Also, there's the issue with the ore smelter here. We have ore, and we don't have coal in it yet. Also, a little uh, detail: this this flag over here. I hope the uh, software picks it up properly. Uh, this flag displays how close something is to the border. If it is, uh, if there is an enemy border nearby, there is one black stripe across it, and if there are two, or if, if the enemy border is really close, you probably see it anyway, but uh, you will get two black stripes across it, it will be basically crossed out. <coughs> and that is pretty nice, because it can also save you a bit of scouting. Which, by the way, is also something we could do. We could actually go and get a scout here. Let's do that. Let's send out a scout. I'm not sure how those are recruited, by the way. They don't seem to need anything else. You just uh, send them out. But they're also somewhat infinite, so they, they don't die either. Come on, one more. Just do the thing there. Seriously, we're searching everywhere for water, but not there. I could try to build there just for the sake of uh, for the fun of it, but I don't want it. Also, there's an animal. We will probably build a huntsman now. There is a rabbit. We can hunt the rabbit. Why would you not just do the thing here? Geologize here. Lazy prick. Oh boy. Also, something I actually liked, or I really liked about this uh, game was. Uh, Back in the day, I would just, uh, for example, every time I unlocked a new building, I would either 
keep the uh, window there or make an observer uh, observation window. Was, uh, like this. Yeah. You can actually also somehow make an observation window for those, but I forgot how. Oh, I would just drag it. I don't know. But anyway, I would. Uh, I would just look at whatever the worker was doing because sometimes, I think at least in Settlers Three, it was. Uh, it was just interesting to me. I don't know. There was never anything really uh, deeply uh, hilarious about it or anything. It was just something nice to watch. Will you do the thing here? No. Oh yes, he will. He will. He will. Nice. So there should be water here. Water is actually never really hard to find, I believe. There we go, there's the water. There is the water, so we'll now build a well. And we will build the road down here. Although, will we? Will we actually do that? That's actually an interesting question, because if I build it down here, I will at least uh, be sure it's not... Uh, immediately clogging up this route here. If I do it like this, I mean, I'm probably going to have all the things that need water up in this direction, so uh, I think it's probably better this way. How are the supplies doing? We still have plenty of them. Still have a reasonable amount of uh, supplies, which is always good to have. Okay, we have two coal mines, which are currently unoccupied. Well, one of them is. There is the uh, future occupant. Okay, there's more fish. Some blacksmithing going on. And you will see that this well is probably all we need water-wise for a long time. Wells can get you covered quite well. And that was no pun or anything. If you consider it one that was not intended. I freely admit that. Kind of all the good puns. Okay, I believe also if you build a second uh, farm next to this, the uh, farms will actually share their fields to some degree, so they will both use the same spots for uh, farming. I think I could probably build a f another farm building here. And it wouldn't interfere, but I'd, I'd rather space it out a bit more. So we'll do this. Build a road here. I hope this doesn't mess up too much of the fields here, but I don't think it will. Also, nice to see those uh, stacks here. Yeah, you can. I thought the uh, stone was stacked on this, but this is just a, uh, I don't know, some foundation stone that's placed. It's not counted towards the uh, building materials. Also, uh, you will find that those are usually the first places to be upgraded. And if you have a longer piece of road that is uh, upgraded, and you build a flag in the middle of it, I think that will too be upgraded. So you don't have to uh, wait until both uh, sections of the road have walked back and forth, or both of the carriers have walked back and forth enough to uh, warrant a donkey. You will get one immediately. That is, if you have a donkey. That's important. If you don't have a donkey, you will not uh, get anywhere. You will not get one. Uh, there is a donkey breeder here, which uh, is this profession there. We don't have any of those, although I don't think it's too hard to uh, uh, breed donkeys if you will. They don't seem to need the tools, so you should probably be able to make those anyway. However, not without a farm first. We also want uh, several farms because uh, those have pretty high... Well, many buildings will require food, or will require grain. You'll have the pig farm, you have the donkey farm, you have the, the mill, obviously. Well, that's three buildings, but in, in this in this context, that is, an, that is a lot of buildings, yeah? <sighs> also, while I'm here, I guess I... I mean, it's kind of pointless to do announcements now, but... Uh, 
By the time you see this, I may be preparing to move out of my apartment. Which means that... Uh, what does that mean? Alright, there, there may be uh, less videos from me for a while, or for, for a short time at least. Because I have to uh, get my old apartment prepared for the next tenant, which uh, involves like painting over some of the uh, things and uh, obviously cleaning the place properly and getting my stuff out and getting my stuff into a new apartment and all that stuff. So um, that will keep me busy. I'm also still busy with my master thesis, which has uh, at least now officially commenced like last week week from the time of recording, not from the time of you watching this. And um, yeah, it's due on the 16th of October. So uh, as I said, I still have plenty of time, but uh, knowing myself, it's never a good idea to uh, <laughs> to waste time with uh, with thesis. Is, is there a plural to thesis? Theses? I don't know. <coughs> Also, this uh, quarry here will soon run out. I just noticed that. And, and you see, we've got a lot of uh, stone out of it. I mean, all of this was basically, or most of this was basically built with uh, the material we got from that one quarry. I would like to build a barracks over here. I have to see that I don't overwrite too many uh, field spots for that, so we'll probably go like this. Well, sometimes you can make hexagons with that. <laughs> I like hexagons. Don't judge me. They're lovely. It's actually a thing that you uh, do as a chemist. You, you begin to love hexagons because the, the hexagonal shape is... Uh, well, you, you begin to, to love it and hate because uh, the hexagon is a very, very stable shape in uh, organic chemistry. Is because the uh, hexagon, although it's not, not flat as you see in most uh, most depictions, it's it's not flat. It's it's actually more uh, bent. So from the side, it looks like this, like, like those, uh, like this. So you'll have one tip of these of the hexagon over uh, over here. Then you'll have this basically in a plane and uh, oh. Construction of our first grain farm has been completed. There is no date on that, though. The grain can either be processed into flour in a mill or used to feed pigs. The food supply situation should now continue to improve. Just interrupted my organic chemistry lecture, you prick. Okay, so you basically have uh, you have one tip facing up, then those would be uh, in a plane, and then this would, would be facing down. And uh, if you have a hexagon which is basically Going like this, obviously I have one, then you'll have one in the front, one in the back, then one in the front, then one in the back, and the one uh, down, facing down here. Then you have the, uh, the so-called tetrahedron uh, angle, which is uh, 104.5, 109 degrees, I forgot. But it's, perfect, it's pretty much the closest thing chemistry gets to that. And that's why it's so stable. You can't do this with a 5 ring, you can't do it with a 7 ring, you can't do it with an 8 ring, and so on. And you can't do it with a... like a... a square or something like that either. Which is also why... Uh, there, there are certain uh, compounds that actually have a, a formula that looks like a square or a triangle, but um, those are very unstable, and those are basically things that will blow up if you give them a chance to. Or at least react, if you give them a chance to. <sighs> okay, that being said, I've... Uh, I think I've uh, expanded your horizon enough, so uh, I'll break up the video here, and I'll see you all next week. Bye!